Oh, God. Okay, y'all startled me. Sorry. Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to be working on Barney the Verumasaur. Alright, guys. We're going to knock this out pretty quick. We're going to change the water pump on this car. <clears throat> we start getting into it. It has a tendency of trying to heat up a little bit past halfway. We want to stop it. The previous owner replaced the thermostat and the thermostat housing. But we may still swap out the thermostat. Reason being, we may go with a little bit cooler one instead of the 195 degree that it requires. We may get to 180. Issue is, it could cause it to run a lot more richer than what it is now. But it's kind of worth it sometimes. So let's get started. socket took the pulley off the pulley bolts off highly recommend because I forgot I was being dumb you leave the belt on when you go to loosen those pull uh, the bolts on the pulley makes it a little bit easier no big deal we were able to get the 3 8 uh, electric gun after it now 13s we're gonna pull these bolts out and get this water pump out Alright guys, <clears throat> Ooh, wow, that's a lot of coolant, that's a lot of coolant, that's more than what we thought, well, well, that's alright, because we got more, but now we got a mess to clean up, that we do, golly, anyway, no water pump, super easy to spin, that is no bueno, Barney while he goes to the bathroom. <laughs> New water pump. Super hard to spin. Let's get this gasket on. Try to save some of this cool. with it for a few probably more like 20 minutes <laughs> yeah water pumps out new ones in let's take some brake cleaner clean this pulley up real quick before we put it back on get the belt on fill her back up with coolant take barney for a drive all right water pump pulley's back on time to put the belt back on and a lot of the older cars I don't I haven't really seen this much on a lot of the newer ones. But if you lose your belt and diagram, it's underneath the hood on the majority of the old stuff. Thank goodness, because I kind of don't remember. I get this thing. Belt's on. Time to fill this thing back up with some coolant. Get Barney. Good old test drive. May take a little bit, we're gonna have to start the car, let it run for a little bit with defrost on, cut it off. This has a degas bottle. This is how it feeds the radiator. It's not a conventional radiator, we just take the cap off. So we have to let it burp itself with the cap on. So let's get that done.
right guys day two in the shop on Barney uh, please excuse the baseball I had to uh, have some we call it biopsy done on a bolt that popped up on that so a couple days later we come back in the shop trying to figure Barney out we replaced the water pump on Sunday drove the car kept trying to overheat again so what we did we came down today off camera pulled the old thermostat out it's a 192 degree thermostat and at first when I pulled the thermostat housing off it looked like it sits in there just like this it looked like this jiggle valve was upside down because everything I've ever done has always been jiggle valve up and what this jiggle valve does is if there is air in the system it allows it to bypass and come back up to, in our case, our degas bottle is what Ford likes to call it, or our coolant reservoir. We replaced it, filled up some more coolant. It was a little bit low. Drove it, and what do you think, Jacob? I mean, I know what I think. I think she pulls harder now than before. Yeah, temperature's staying perfect, actually. Get into hard acceleration, It'll creep up just a little bit past our cooling fan kicks in, pulls it right back down. Now, we were thinking that this hose may have been collapsing while we were driving. She's hot now, but after further inspection, all the hoses are good. Looks like a super bad water pump, and I'm talking like super bad. This thing's probably, I'd hate to say it's original. I'd like to clean it up and see if there is a FOMOCO stamp on there, but we got it replaced. New water pump. Went with Duralast lifetime warranty. Not trying to plug no company here by no means, but you know, I'm probably gonna get some, catch some flack on this one from some people, but AutoZone actually does sell better parts, but you know, thermostat we went with a fail safe. The reason why we went fail safe, and I'll explain it to you real quick, because we're trying to kill this video so we can uh, maybe get into a podcast. I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. Do a podcast. Uh, I'll get into that in a little bit. But a fail safe, like this is a normal thermostat, as it opens, this here will pull back and this will open up and allow more coolant to flow through when these go bad they don't open when a fail safe goes bad it gets stuck open so the only way you'll know fail safe is bad is winter time when you turn heat on and you don't have no heat then you know you have a bad thermostat but on one of these, one of these old standard ones, they go bad, your car overheats. They're junk in my opinion. And also, you get a lifetime warranty on them, just like the water pump that we bought. So, with that being said, guys, keep following us. Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share, please share. Um, tell your friends about us. We got some good stuff coming up. I think uh, one day this week we may get on Miss Goldilocks behind you. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Maybe tear the hood off and start tearing into the engine. Um, as far as Barney, we got a goof up I got to fix here pretty soon on the headlights. I put some screws in the wrong place, so we got to fix that. Other than that, for now, Barney's probably going to be put on the back burner, and the main focus is going to be Project Goldilocks. Uh, now, the podcast, guys, if you have automotive questions, please, please feel free to jump in on our Instagram page. Um, if you don't mind, Jacob, we put that like right here? Yeah. Like now? Yeah. Dude, seriously, like now. 
Is All right, here, yeah, it's oh, right. Okay, there. okay. So, post your questions there. We'll answer your questions on the podcast to the best of our knowledge. I mean, there is some stuff that I'm still learning even after 27 years of doing stuff. So, get, you know, throw those questions out there, please. We'll, we'll be glad. Now, the first podcast we're going to talk about, the 2021. Bronco. Yeah. I'm Me personally, I'm calling it. It's going to be the Wrangler killer, I think. I think it's going to be better than the Wrangler, personally, myself. Um, but other than that, next week, you'll be getting some different videos thrown at you. Uh, we should have had, what, three videos, I think, <clears throat> with um, uh, Wicked, Wicked Stoner Panda. Yeah. Um, we're going to do some work on his 95 Honda Civic. Help hook him up a little bit. He's still he's still learning. He's actually in school now for automotive. So I love teaching people. Reason why we're doing this video. So guys, like always, y'all have a wonderful night, wonderful week, and remember, dream big.